Hello and um, welcome to what will be not really an episode, but um, like a introduction to the tutorial based videos I'll be doing on the new Rise and Fall patch. Um, hopefully this will go up today. Uh, on Thursday I was playing a lot of this game and then on Friday my computer broke so I didn't actually upload anything so hopefully two days late into the expansion we'll do it and I also oh, I can't speak also I apologize for the um, noise if there is any as my computer is literally open now uh, the side of it's open to try and keep it running it's having a problem with overheating um, so yeah this first tutorial will be about settling your first city well, actually that is quite loud there we go. okay so Obviously the first tip will always be move your warrior to a high ground position if possible or into a place where you don't have much vision. Um, now there's a luxury resource that way, uh, so that is ideal and also a river. However we do start on a river and that luxury will be within our tile. The, so I am going to go... What kind of tile is this? Coast. Okay, so that is actually a coastal tile. Um, yeah, we'll check check what else is down here. Olives. Okay. Yeah, so we definitely want. If we settle there, we'll have one, two. Yeah, we might not get that in. But we would have a very good, possibly coastal city here, which could grab it. Um. So yeah, I'd only say it's worth moving your settler on turn one if you don't have fresh water. That's kind of the first thing you're looking for. Um, if you don't have fresh water, you want to try and use your warrior to scout as much as possible, but also guarding it because the barbarians will pop up. Um, for the sake of this video, I will move and try and get... Hmm, what exactly do I want? Yeah, I think we'll go for that. As like I said last series, you want that perfect triangle. You get city there, docks there, and commercial hub there, which just produces an insane amount of money. Yeah, the only reason I'm actually playing Scotland, it wouldn't have been my first choice, as I have said in the past that I hated Scotland and the idea behind them, not the place. I just don't like the way they've done it. Oh, another luxury's popped up there, but um, they died in my uh, in my uh, multiplayer game that I was playing. So yeah, I didn't really get a, much of experience testing them out because I am sad and I do hot seat with myself to learn all the new sims. But oh well, that's how I get my hours. Yeah, so I think this is pretty ideal. So we'll go there. Right, I'm not gonna. Obviously, there are tons more situations um, that could happen here. Uh, the music kicks in whenever you sell. Uh, I'm glad it's not the bagpipes again. Um, yeah, so you've got that perfect triangle here, so that's a great setup, but the luxuries are spread quite thin. So that was more of a risk, you know, trying something out, seeing if I could um, generate a different situation. Because obviously, um, the reason Scotland died in the. Um, game I was playing was because they got desert and the only thing they could do was go down a faith route which isn't really what they're supposed to do they're supposed to be happy and um, productive and all that and they had no tiles to improve you can't even build a golf course on a desert and it was just horrific so obviously it's specific to the sieve if you're Scotland you want to get out the desert if um, uh, I'm trying to if you're Russia you want to get to the tundra uh, Nubia and Egypt work well in the desert and floodplains, stuff like that. Obviously, sieves will have specific starting locations that you want ideally, but the main things are plan ahead with your districts, like I have here. Uh, it doesn't have to be coastal, obviously, because you can get the harbour, but having it coastal does give you this triangle of power. Um, always get fresh water, unless maybe you're Australia. Um, and scout with your warrior first. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, I hope this was useful, and I hope to continue to produce videos like this in the future. Just comment down below if you 
like the format and the way I was doing this. And I can't end the recording. <laughs>